The first two Army games were good games, but they weren't great games. There are tons of elements that from the previous games everybody loved. We want to bring not only those back, but make them better. At its core, it's a co-op cover-based shooter. So this is really where we want to put our money. It's much more straightforward to start with characters that are in the universe, but aren't the ones that you had before. So it's not just Alpha and Bravo, you're also finding out what happened to Salem and Rios and what their arc is over the course of this game. You're gonna start off in Mexico. The cartel wars, the stuff that's going on in Mexico right now is very topical, and it's also a great opportunity to shift the tone of the series a bit and really take the situation seriously. The project has always been planned to be on Frostbite. I think that was also one of the motivating factors for this new direction that we're heading in. The one thing that's really cool is when the cover breaks. Oh, I'm... You can have fun really breaking stuff apart. It's a good stress reliever. After Army of Two, the 40th day, the team here has been working basically as part of the Visceral Studio, and this team is a brand new team. I think that you're always going to have people that are going to be cynical and say, oh, well, they're just Dead Space does well, so they're just going to take that Visceral logo and slap it on this other game and hope that that does well. And it's fine if people want to think that. In the end, we're going to put out the game and they can play it and they can judge for themselves. And I'm confident that when this game comes out, they're going to see the difference. They're going to feel like, oh, Visceral really sort of raised the bar for this franchise.